Hi guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So one of my favorite Studio One features that doesn't get a lot of public attention is the ability to add any instrument and effect or combination of the two with a button. You can then map these instruments and effects directly onto your keyboard like you could with any other hotkey. Or you could also map them to something like the loop deck or the stream deck or any similar uh, controller. Or you could also use our free Studio One remote that is available for iPad and Android tablets. This really is a fantastic workflow, super simple to set up, and I'm going to walk you through it right now step by step. Let's go. So to add instruments and effects at the press of a button, simply go to Studio One's Macro Organizer menu. And if you haven't been there already, don't worry. This looks a little bit daunting at first, but it's really just a keyboard shortcut consolidator, if you will, so that you can build sequences of multiple key commands that can be triggered from just one keyboard shortcut, button trigger, whatever you want. So you just click on New and then search for Add. And if we scroll down, we're going to find a particular command, several in fact, with these three dots on the side. This means that after we've added this keyboard shortcut to a sequence, we can then specify this keyboard shortcut further. And that is incredibly handy because this is exactly what allows us to add instruments and effects from buttons, key commands or whatever. So we want the following command, add instrument to selected tracks. Now, in order for this to work, even if you don't have an instrument track selected, we first need to add an instrument track so that we can then insert the virtual instrument. And the macro allows us to add that to the very same command so that we don't have to do two button presses to achieve this. So we just select the command above add instrument to selected tracks, which is add instrument track with the argument name which is really cool. This means that after we've added this to a sequence with a double click, we can specify a name for this instrument track, meaning that our new instrument is automatically going to be named. And if you have a preset for a specific sound, this once again saves you an extra step. For example, in this case, I would like to build a macro that adds a bass synth. So it makes sense to call the instrument track for it bass synth. Now I'm going to add instrument to selected tracks. This is the command that we talked about briefly before. And because it has these three dots on the side, I know that I can double click this to specify it further. And now I can uh, select any of the virtual instruments that you also find in Studio One's browser. I'm going to go with the my tie here. And then I can even specify a preset or even an instrument and effect preset. And mind that the sequence doesn't have to end here. So I could even add multiple more instruments right afterwards and add, you know, potentially an entire song template from just one keyboard shortcut or button trigger. It's amazing. Um, I'm really just showing you the basics here so that you can go wild on your own afterwards. I'm going to go with the default preset from my tie because I find that this already is a great sounding bass synth. So no need for me to select anything extra. Uh, hit OK. And this is already our first macro. Let's call that add bass synth. And um, like I said, I could go ahead and now also add an insert effect right afterwards. And for that, I would just add the command add insert to selected channels. And then once again, I can double click it, specify an entire effects chain of multiple insert effects or a certain effect plugin with any preset of my choice, all the ones that you also find in Studio One's browser. Let's just go with this basic macro for now and see how it works. The title is add bass synth, keep that in mind. Definitely give it a name that you can remember afterwards so that you can actually assign it. Hit OK and then go to the Studio One keyboard shortcuts once again and just search for the name you just entered. So in my case, it would be add bass synth. There it is. And now I can assign that like any regular keyboard shortcut to any hotkey on my keyboard. So I could just go for this one. Um, but as I mentioned before, you could also do this from a controller. So in order for that to work, just open up the mixer console, go to the external devices menu here, and then uh, select the MIDI controller with the button that you want to assign. In my case, I'm just going to go with the Atom SQ here. Then right click any of the buttons that you have. Uh, if you have a generic MIDI controller, you could just add them quickly by pressing MIDI Learn. And then right click that button, assign the command, and search for Add Bass Synth. And now I would be able to add this sound directly from my Atom SQ. Well, let's try it out to see if it works. Just going to go to the user page here, Add Bass Synth. There we go. Yes, indeed, it has just added an instrument track with the Mai Tai loaded and is ready to play. 
But I would also like to see the synth right after I've added it so that I can then tweak it and make uh, some adjustments. So to do that, I could either press the keyboard shortcut for show instrument editor, or I could also head back to the macro and just have the macro do that for me. And once again, that's an extra step that you save. So go once again to the macro organizer, search for the uh, macro that you just created, add bass synth. If it was further down the list, I could even start typing blindly and notice how the macro organizer is jumping to the respective macro, which is really cool. This invisible search is something that not everybody's aware of. And double click that. And now we just want to add show instrument editor. State means one is yes and zero is no. So show instrument editor always, even if it's already open, is yes. Zero would be always hide it. And leaving that blank without zero and one is toggle. So if it's already open, then close it. And if it's closed, then open it. In this case, I want to see the instrument editor in any case. So here I would enter state one. That's it. So let's just undo and remove the track and instrument for testing purposes. Hit the button on the Atom SQ once again. And now the bass synth opens up with the respective sound already loaded. Now, as I mentioned, you could even load entire song templates with this method. Just keep on chaining inside of the same macro and then it could look just like it does here. I'm firing off Studio One Remote, one button triggers the entire song template to load. I absolutely love it. Of course, you can also apply the exact same method with insert effects and so forth. So for that, just go to Studio One Macro Organizer, click New, and then search once again for Add. And then the magic command is Insert to select the channels. Double click that, select any effects chain, meaning chain of multiple insert effects or any insert effect with preset that you like. And after you selected it, give that a name that you can recognize, like for example, add fat channel. And then you can see I can trigger that directly here from Studio One Remote, for instance. Assigning buttons on Studio One Remote is super easy, by the way. Just go to the macro page, click the plus button, and you find the same search that you also saw in the keyboard shortcut menu. As you can see, adding instruments, effects, or entire song templates at the press of a button is super fun, and I can't encourage you enough to try it out. Thank you for watching.